everyone, Chris here, and we are back in Mon Bazoo. And all our trees, at least most of them, are finally fully grown. As you can see, I pretty much connected everything. I will say it's an absolute mess, but it gets the job done. I even went all the way over there, connected those as much as possible. Yeah, I've left the generator running, so this thing's almost full. And this is finally running at a fair level. I don't know how good it can get, but as you can see right there, we have 46 trees connected. And yeah, over here I have one full barrel. I went ahead and bought a second one, and yeah, that one's full too. So now we just need to go sell these. I think that's going to be like 400 right there. And then maybe with that we could even buy more barrels. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and leave this running while we're off. Okay, here we are at the Federation. So let's go ahead and park up here. And yeah, let's sell these barrels. I think it's going to be 400 bucks. So 200 right there. And then another 200 and then I think the best part is we're still getting money, I think, from our first barrel or two. So we might get up to like 800 per week right now, which is just crazy. I'm um, go ahead and head in here, talk to Eric. And then I think I'll buy another barrel because we might be able to fill up another one. And as we head back to our house, I want to talk to our brother Been getting our friendship points up. And then I think he's mentioned something about a garage. So let's see what that's about. So it says, can you help me with the garage? Let's go ahead and click that. I just had a rush command for firewoods. If you can give me 48 firewoods quickly, I will then start your garage. Place them beside my truck. Okay, so it's like a special quest for firewood. Okay, I guess we'll head back and do that. Should be simple enough. And if my math is correct, I think we get two pieces of firewood per trunk slash log. So that's just 24 pieces, so it shouldn't be too bad. I just don't know if there's a time limit. It seems like you wanted it pretty quickly. Okay, counted 48 pieces there, but let's go ahead and put a couple more. Because knowing how I drive, I'll probably lose a couple on the way. Okay, I didn't see any pieces fall off, so this should be good. Uh, I think I got a... Oh my god. Oh, uh, 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 uh I don't know what's going on there. What the heck? Let me try this again. Oh, there we go. And yeah, now he's going to work in our garage starting tomorrow. Uh, we still have a couple pieces over here, so let's go over here and sell it to him. Dang, that's a pretty sweet deal. A whole garage just for 48 pieces of firewood. And then in addition to him, I've been talking to the other people around town. I th think the guy's name at the gas station is Normand. Uh, still haven't quite gotten that all the way up because I think he does unlock the racetrack. Let me double check in the menu. Yeah, our mom's at 38 out of 50. Francis is 28. Jack is 19. Eric is 9. And Norman's 13. So I'm assuming we still have quite a way because I think the... I think the garage unlocked at around 25. Still might have quite a while before we unlock that. Okay, let's grab this. And let's go to the sugar shack. I think I'm ready too late for the day, and I believe that's closed both Saturday and Sunday, so... Eh, a little bit of a waste, but it shouldn't be too bad. But I think we can still go tomorrow to pick up the other barrels. Oh, okay, that was almost another barrel right there, 117. And yeah, the fire's completely out. So let's get that started again. And let's see if we can get another barrel full. And yeah, we already have enough for another barrel, so let's fill that up. And I'll probably just leave this running for a little bit longer. Because I do want to go to sleep and see how the garage is going to look. I'm assuming that's probably going to take a couple days. I'm honestly surprised he didn't ask for like money or other stuff like that. But we'll see. Maybe he'll have little tasks for us tomorrow. Oh, okay. I already put up a frame. Dang, he works quick. Okay, so I think we'll go ahead and go pick up our barrels. Then we'll talk to our brother, see what he has to say. Because what if it's like a daily task thing? Let's see. Oh, he's actually not out today. Okay. Uh, I mean, it is Saturday, so I guess that makes sense. Okay, let's just head to the store. Ugh, chose the worst way to get up. Oh my god. Well, alright. <clears throat> uh, where's that winch? <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, I hear a cart. Jeez. Ooh, okay. Okay, let's grab this. And what's the best way to flip this? Oh. Oh, there we go. Hey, chill, man. Trying to fix my car, he just rammed into it. Okay, crisis averted. Yeah, I did not see how steep that cliff was. Oh, so we can't even grab our barrels because it's closed. Interesting. I guess we'll just do what we did last time. We'll just kind of leave this here and it should automatically sell on Monday. And then, yeah, it looks like we have to come back Monday to get our barrels. Okay, that's not too bad. And let's go ahead and pass by the gas station. Obviously got to get gas, but I kind of do want to look at some of those parts. We already bought the expensive ABS module. So maybe now we could get some of the suspension upgrades for the car. Yeah, so we have 394 to spend. Yeah, let's Away. get the suspension. Let's see how that goes. And here's the second one, and that leaves us with $64. Okay, let's head back and install that. Let's park this up right here. And yeah, let's get this on some jack stands. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with suspension components, so let's take a quick look. Uh, probably going to have to take the wheel off, and I think of these three bolts, and probably some more stuff over here. Let's start with the top, I guess? I don't know. Okay, so that's out. And then, okay, I guess we do have to take the wheel off. There's the wheel. And... Okay, brake rotor's off, apparently. Was this the bearing? Okay, now for the caliper. Yep. Let's see. Maybe I didn't even have to take all that off because I'm noticing this big bolt right here. Uh, I guess we'll start another pile over there. Does this come off as a whole piece? No, I do have to take all that apart. Okay, now it could come off. Yep, there we go. I don't know what happened to that that piece. What, what is that? Oh, the toe angle. Interesting. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, I don't know, actually. Okay, let's put that back. And yeah, now we just gotta put everything back together. Okay, that's one side done. And now to do the other side. Yeah, I'm definitely realizing I probably should have saved a little bit more money and just got in all the other brake components. Because at this point I'm essentially doing double the work because I'm gonna have to go back in there later on. Okay, and there we go. Let's go ahead and just toss these to the side over there. I wonder if I could recycle these or something, that'd be kind of cool. Alright, let's get this off the jack stands. And yeah, I guess we'll just go test it out. I really hope there's not a way to do things wrong, and then maybe we suddenly lose our braking system. But we'll see, I guess. Yeah, let's hope I didn't install it wrong, and then we're not able to brake. Okay, brake check. Yeah, I mean, that kind of seemed to work. Let's try it again. Yeah, I mean, seems fine. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell if the suspension is really that much better. I think sports suspension is supposed to be a lot stiffer. So maybe it's actually going to be worse on the gravel, but a lot better on the street. But yeah, honestly, I cannot really tell the difference. Like I stopped random logs everywhere. Cornering seems about the same. I don't know, maybe a little bit tighter, who knows. Bet you people in town are just looking at me drive like a madman. So I think we'll head back and fire up the sugar shack. Just try to get some maple syrup ready for Monday. And I think tomorrow in the morning, I don't know if it's 6.30 every day. Or maybe it's a little bit later, but we should get paid. I think it's going to be a decent chunk, maybe 600 to 800. We'll see. Okay, watched over the maple syrup for a couple hours. Let's go ahead and go to sleep and see how much we get in the morning. Ooh, dang. Yeah, 800 bucks. That's pretty dang good. Okay, let's go ahead and skip the night. And then how's this looking? Yeah, that looks about the same, I think. So maybe we do have to talk to our brother on Monday. And yeah, since it's Sunday, I guess I'll just kind of watch over the sugar shack, get that filled up. And then from there, it's kind of just waiting till Monday. 
Okay, it's officially Monday. Oh, and yeah, he did do a little bit more work. Kind of has like the roofing set up. Uh, I guess by that logic, maybe, I don't know, two more days? I'm guessing maybe one day for the walls, maybe another day for the gate or other stuff. So if you look over here, this is actually full now. So we knock that off the checklist. And then if we go in here, yeah, this is ready for two whole barrels. So yeah, let's go ahead and head to town and pick up our barrels. And then we also have to sell that third one, but that might automatically sell at eight. Okay, it's about to be eight o'clock. Let's see if we get paid. Just one more minute. Oh no, we actually, we didn't, okay. Oh no, there we go. Yeah, dang, already up to a thousand. It's pretty sweet. So let's go ahead and grab these two barrels and we actually should be able to sell those today. Okay, and then I think just like last time, we'll go ahead and pass by the gas station and get some more parts for the car. I think we just do the rest of the brake upgrades. Seems like the most logical step. But yeah, let's just go ahead and buy all this. We should have more than enough. I think I'm gonna get a pack of bolts just cause the ones we have are really rusted. And then I'm kind of debating maybe getting some of this exhaust stuff. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's splurge a little. So let's grab that. Oh, I didn't even think about, will that fit in the truck? Uh, I'm like 99% sure that's gonna launch somewhere. And then which muffler should we go for? Kind of liking these dual ones, so let's do that. Okay, so let's head home, fill up those barrels. And then I guess come straight back. So yeah, hopefully none of this kind of launches out. Oh my god. Oh yeah, it's already on the ground, of course. Okay, went ahead and sewed those barrels of maple syrup. So let's go ahead and put this on jack stands. Kind of same as before. Uh, I did get some rust repair kits, because I think we still had some tires. Yeah, we had that one. I just sworn we had another one, actually. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, I guess I still have this one. I don't really want to use it on our truck. I wonder, can I use some of these parts like that? No, okay. Yeah, so I just have to buy new parts for those. And then I did get this magnetic tray. And where the heck are those bolts? Yeah, here we go. So, how does this work? Just drop them on there? Oh yeah, nice. Can I use that with the spanner? Not really. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the brake stuff. And you know, now that I think about it, I probably should have bought even more bolts. I think each wheel is going to be like five. Oh well. You know, now that I look at it, this part didn't seem that bad. Oh, and they do have ratings, okay. I mean, this one obviously says rusty. And yeah, this says it's weak. So maybe we'll have better braking power after. Okay, now the brake rotor and the wheel bearing. Oh my god, those look so much better. Okay, and there we go. Uh, unfortunately, I did run out of new bolts. So a lot of these are still kind of old and rusted. Um, not sure what to do with these old parts, honestly. I put it in here. Oh, no, it can't be. Oh, it could be sold at the scrapyard. Okay. Maybe that's by the raceway or something. And how do we do the exhaust? I feel like we don't have enough height clearance for that. Don't think I could raise these. And yeah, maybe I'll just put it in the back. Let's see. Maybe something like that. Yeah, it kind of doesn't seem like it, honestly. Still need a little bit more room. Let me see if I could cheese it. Maybe I could reverse it right here. And kind of work from it from under here. Let's see. Um, so maybe I didn't put the wheel on right. Yeah, interesting. Okay. What the heck happened there? Okay, so maybe I forgot some bolts or something. I don't know what, what the heck. Okay, let's try that again. Maybe I didn't put them center bolt. I could have sworn I put all the bolts. I don't know. I mean, luckily it fell off in our driveway and not while we're going down the road at like 70 miles per hour. That could have been pretty bad. Okay, I think that should be it this time. I'm thinking something like that should work. And eh, maybe not. Okay, well, it's getting dark. Let's go ahead and go to sleep. And we'll figure that out in the morning. Okay, let's see how far along this is. Uh, kind of looks the same. I don't know if these beams were here. 
So maybe that's new. And yeah, let's see if we could work on that. Because maybe that's what the garage is for. Maybe we get some type of lift in there or we can install one. Or maybe we just need more jack stands. Okay, I see one bolt over here. And then, yeah, I think there's another one over there. Okay, re I can reach this one. Let's do that. And then how do I get the second one? It's kind of over there in the front. No, it doesn't seem like we'll have enough clearance. At least not without maybe putting the whole car in the side over here. Yeah, so let's put that bolt back for now. And yeah, I guess we'll have to wait for that. Again, maybe the garage has stuff for it. Or maybe we just need more jack stands, but I don't know. I feel like there should be maybe a, what's it called? A mechanic crawler, something we could slide under the car, work on all that stuff. And yeah, I think I'll leave it there. Finally got the garage going, so we'll see what that's all about. And maybe they'll let us work on the car even more. Yeah, feeling pretty good, especially with the sugar shack, We're getting tons of money for that. And then, you know, it's just going to keep growing and growing each week. So yeah, like always, thanks for watching and see you next time.